everybody, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. And guess what time it is? It's wine time! Okay, but for realsies, it's also Witch's Moon Unboxing Time! So, because I'm in Canada, this comes to me just a little bit later than it comes to some of you in the States. So, I swear I unbox these the second I get them because I cannot actually wait to show them to you guys. But, uh, my wait is sometimes just a little teeny bit longer. That said, I have to say that The Witch's Moon has somehow mani magically managed to always get me my box before the Sabbath or before the full moon so far. This is my third box, <laughs> so I guess it's not like a long time to judge it by, but like I'm just saying, it's always been perfectly timely. The full moon is a little bit later this week. Yule is Friday, and I am like so freaking stoked to open this one. So I'm going to try and calm myself down with a little bit of wine, because wine makes all the unboxings better. <laughs> In case you're new to my channel, by the way, this is my wine glass. It used to be a milk bottle, but I spill things. Uh, so now it's a wine bottle because I spill things. And fancy wine glasses, even dollar store fancy wine glasses, are super breakable. And I don't want to spill and I don't want to break. And this is heavy and like shaped in a way that it's unlikely to tip over. So it's my wine glass. <laughs> That said, I really seriously cannot wait. I've already taken off the external box and I really want to get into this one. Okay, so. I did grab a grounding stone. We'll see if it actually does anything. It doesn't usually, but you never know. All right, so I'm going to open this up. Does it fall out? No. That's just my stone shifting on my lap. This box, it smells. I'll show you guys in a second, just, just one moment. This box smells so good and I can't put my finger on it. I could like smell it as soon as I opened the external box. <sighs> so, open it up and I have this before me. Okay, I can't, I can't. <gasps> okay, so the first thing I see, oh, you guys, look. I got the white stag from the, this is from Jody Bergsma's Spirit of the Animals Oracle, which is actually new in my collection. I love that I have an extra white stag. Look how beautiful and perfect this is for you all. I can't even. And there's so many animals. So the fact that I got randomly selected the white stag makes me really happy. This card is all about protection. So it reads, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Oh, I love this card. And it doesn't have the weird bow thing to it yet because I haven't gotten my meaty paws on it. It's beautiful and it's definitely going to go on my altar. I am, I love these boxes. I just, I love them so much. You guys have no idea. Okay, so our little scroll. I'm going to untie it. I love just taking the twine off of that folded parchment. It's the most satisfying sensation. It feels so magical. Gets me right in my witchy, like, happy place. <sighs> I was so excited when the Witch's Moon announced the theme for the December box because it is nature's guardian spirit. And this just, it makes my heart go pitter-pat. Like I, oh, okay. I'm going to try to just read the intro so that I don't see any spoilers. So I've kind of folded mine. As the cool air makes strides through the dark, brilliant forest, it brings with it a sense of calm and connectiveness. A connection that can only be found within the energy of nature's guardian spirit. As we ground ourselves upon the soil and reach out to the ancient tree spirits, we ask for understanding and solidity. We ask to be one with the roots and the branches, resonating such deep meaning in our lives and practice. As we shift into the upcoming months, we receive protection and wisdom from those that have been breathing the essence of magic for much longer than others. <clears throat> we have sourced curated and handcrafted the items in this collection over many many moons to bring you the one-of-a-kind tools that will allow you to connect to the great energy of nature's guardian spirits now one thing i have to point out because one of the things that i love about the witch's moon and one of the reasons why this box won and i still need to do a comparison which i will be doing i've got one more box coming in one of my other subscriptions that i tried out but one of the reasons that this one's sat so well with me was because they've done such a beautiful job of creating an eclectic box that feels suitable to so many different paths. It doesn't feel dogmatic in any way and in fact um, I'm going to read you this next bit and I do believe that this next bit is the same in every box. 
but here's what it says. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. But I just like that it invites you to take what works for you and sort of leave the rest. You know what I mean? Yeah. More wine because this is super exciting. <sighs> the sigil. This is so beautiful. The sigil is Guardians. Guardians. I love these and I'm going to be, um, yeah, I need to pull out all the ones I've gotten so far because I got several in last month's box and like pull them out and like lay them out at, because I'm going to be doing some sigil work and I love the way that they're crafting these with broader lines and shapes and I just, oh, it's making my heart go pitter pat. Okay, next we have our artwork for the month. This one says Tree Guardian. These, I love these. These sit on my altar each month. They are so beautifully illustrated. Like, look at this, like, dryad-like creature we see here in the foreground, this figure. This beautifully lettered title. And all of this lovely text. Many ancient cultures believed that spirits inhabited everything, especially trees. All trees serve as the wise sages of the planet. They are the fundamental component to successful ecological symbiosis and as such are the designated guardians and overseers of their immediate surroundings. Mythology and folk folklore worldwide consider trees to be the dwelling places of nature elementals or even the recently departed. Ancient Egyptians believed trees housed the spirits of the gods. The Egyptian Book of the Dead mentions the sycamore as the blissful repose of the deceased. Shrines in India were established near revered trees to gain the favor of its residing guide. And it goes on from there. And often there is some um, sort of reference material here. And here we see some myth mythical tree spirits listed here at the, in this section. And then beneath that, some magical trees listed in this section. So these are never just, I just bonked myself with it. <laughs> That's probably the wine. These are never just fluff. They are always informative. They have good stuff in them. They're always protected and in a cardboard thing, so they never come damaged. I just, the Witch's Moon is so careful with how they package their things, um, and they put so much thought into everything being, like, of value. It just, it blows me away every freaking time. I can't set that aside. And it's time to open the paper. Let's do it together. So we'll open that one. And then we'll open that one. And we'll just tug on the first little thing. It's my oil. Okay. I love these oils. I love them. I love them so much. Okay. And um, the little plastic bags that they ship things in are not like flimsy sandwich bag style bags. They're a little bit thicker. And I have already, already repurposed a bunch of them. I know they said that in every video, but um, yeah, they've been really handy. Bubble wrap. Also really easy to repurpose. It just says Tree Guardian. It's a very dark bottle. I don't hear crystal in this one. Well, maybe I do. Let's see. Mmm, there's something. It's definitely very woody and herby, and if you, I don't know if you'll be able to see in the bottle, but I'll try to tip it and see if the camera will pick it up. There is lots of herb. I don't want to tip it too far. There's lots of herbiness happening in there. Oh, pine! That's one of the smells I smell is pine. How perfect is that for this time of year? I just, oh, this smells so good. I think what I need to do with some of these oils, because I have um, like some lovely scents in here, is get my little oil burner and put a little water in there and a few drops of this so I can get some of the lovely smell. Because yum! Okay, next up white oak to add to my herbal collection here white oak i can't wait to read about these i'm gonna i smell everything i gotta smell so it's got a really mild barely sweet sort of woody smell very very mild i like this one 
Oh, I can't wait to read. I can't wait to read. Okay. I'm trying to read this one. I'm sometimes I'm bad at reading the um, fancy writing. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna hold it up. If you are watching this video right now and you can read this, then before I tell you what it is, type it in the comments below. Like, what is that? We'll see. I'm gonna read the paper here in a second, but I don't want to read it yet because I don't want any spoilers. Bath salts. I use these. I use these. Like, I really, really use these. This one's got a picture of a lovely, like, evergreen tree on the front. Mmm, it's got that lovely, like, evergreen... Tr this definitely smells like forest to me, like, evergreen forest. This is home. Like, I grew up around evergreen trees for the Pacific Northwest. Like, I know... It's funny, too, because I would be the first person to say that I don't ever pick up, like, evergreen-smelling, like, fragrance, um, fragrances, like candles or, um, aroma things anywhere. Like, I love smelly, deliciously smelly things. But pine is always one of those smells that I'm like, nah, probably because it's so familiar. But I think also because it's a little bit on the artificial side. And this smells fresh. And clean like you're literally walking through like a pine forest on like a cool day like it's almost got a bit of coolness to it if that makes any sense oh this is so 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 good and this whole box so far is totally giving me vibes for my guardian tarot which is literally about tree guardians oh I'm gonna have to do something cool with that okay so what's in here next oh you guys there's a in here and this looks like it's um, a <sighs> this does not smell like pine this smells like oh this smells so good so I'm really bad at identifying plants so I'm totally gonna read it in a minute um, but I am actually super excited because I have never had a non sage smudge bundle and I've kind of moved away from burning sage uh, for a number of reasons but this is really, this smells almost sweet grassy. Oh, I'm going to have to look that one up. It's got a very fresh light. Oh, I'm loving the scent profile in all of these goodies. Okay, okay. Okay, I need to calm down. I'll have a sip of another wine. I just said I'm going to have a sip of another wine. And you guys, I swear to God, this is my first glass. Like, I haven't, like, I've had my first sips on camera with you. So I'm not drunk. I just said it funny. I'm going to have a sip another. That's what I said. But I am going to have a sip another right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I just can't. Okay, I'm going to open my candle. I said candle because, I mean, you guys, you know. You know. They send us beautiful candles in every box. And it is something I look forward to and use. And I'm it's... <sighs> so excited. Oh. What does it say? So this, so it's a, a really deep chestnut brown, like not even chestnut, maybe even deeper than that, like a, um, a deep, deep, uh, oh, it smells good. Sorry, I lost my colors there for a second, but it's like that deep, deeper than chocolate, like almost like a black brown. I hope the camera's picking it up accurately. And then this scroll says Sanitum Spiritus. This is super exciting. I like, I feel like vibrating touching all of this stuff. Like I can already tell, I already know where this is going and I've got like just goosebumps. So many goosebumps and I love, oh, I love all of this. I can't wait to dig into the paperwork and like see what it says about everything. <gasps> this bag has some weight and I, it has some weight. I'm excited. Okay. So they usually ship us a crystal of some kind, and that feels like what this might be. What is this crystal? Does it have a label? No, there's no label. Okay, I'm going to pull it out. You guys will probably know right away. This has the most stunning blue. Do you guys see how vibrant that blue is running through this stone? This is putting off so much, like, 
calm. Like peace and calm. Oh, I am dying to know what this is. I've got one more thing in the box. Maybe, actually, I might have a couple more things in the box. Uh, so, I'm going to wait, but I am really stoked to find out what this is. Because this is gorgeous. Can't be a stone I already have in my collection. I don't think I have anything with blue. Like, that is like the ocean. Or like a chunk of just like a mountain. I don't know. Just something about it feels very um, secure and safe. Oh, I love that one. Okay. Pull out my incense for the month. I have no idea what it smells. And I'm really bad at guessing smells from incense. Oh, this is more of that fresh kind of, maybe a little sweet. I almost want to say like, um, there's almost like a hint of berry in here. Watch me be totally out till like lunch. I'm really bad. But this smells really different than the other ones that I've been getting lately. And this is perfect timing because in the back behind me is literally burning my very last incense stick from these boxes from recent months. I definitely use them and go through them. I'm going to open the next thing because it's big. And then I think the box is empty and then we're going to read about all the things. Okay, I can't. Okay, my crystal's going to sit over here on my little table. I'm going to have another sip of wine. Sorry if that looks weird because I'm drinking out of a milk bottle. It is what it is. Oh, there's more in here. Okay, hold on. Slippery Elm. Okay, that's definitely a tree herb. I can't wait to read about all these herbs. I'm so stoked. Okay, and I gotta dig my fingers into all of this before I open the last thing. So last thing, I always try to save the most exciting looking thing in the box for the last, but look at, I'm dropping the little paper worms. Look at that. Look at this. What the heck? This is like a leaf. Oh, I'm so excited to open this. I just can't even. Okay. Oh, no, gently, Lisa. So this is like a very, I think this might be a real um, dry leaf of some kind. Like it's very transparent, but it feels very delicate. This does not feel like it's made out of fabric or anything like that. Cool. Okay. It's like opening a present because it's all wrapped up like a present. I'm such a dork. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. So I always take it in myself first and then I share. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, and that stone up there in the third eye that looks like a mother of pearl or something. How stunning is this? All carved. Look at the detail. I just can't with this. There is a um, hanging spot here on the back, and it is uh, a burnt or carved. It, it's 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 in like it's in I think it could be burnt um with a really fine point the artist signature I cannot wait to read about this oh my god I am actually speechless this box like every month blows me away look at how beautiful and unique this is oh this is giving me like I'm literally thinking of my guardian tarot and the way that this encapsulates the way that that deck makes me feel. The reason that I haven't read for other people with the Guardian Tarot is because it feels like it's for me, like it's looking out for me, it's there to protect and nurture me. Um, and that's what this feels like. Very loving and nurturing. Oh, okay, I, I need to read. I need to read or this is going to be a million hours long and I need to see what all the things are all about. So let's go through it together. Okay, so first. <sighs> Hand carved tree guardian spirit with paua, pa, P A U A, shell inlay. So that's a shell. That is just, look at the way that that reflects the light. Oh, is this Hawaiian, I wonder? Okay, these very natural tree guardians have been ethically sourced from over 500 different species of fallen trees and branches. Okay, I love the way that this is starting. 
each tree guardian has been hand carved and stained with the utmost respect for the spirit and vibration within. Trees are the ancient companions that we seek to gain knowledge from, standing tall and vibrant long before we could stand ourselves. As well as holding natural beauty, trees can communicate with us with a clear consciousness. Even the smallest segment of a tree contains the energy of the whole tree. This specific tree guardian was crafted to provide you with a portal to its natural power and energy. As you sit with this spirit, work to create a relationship of respect and understanding. This technique is the same technique used to connect with any of your magical tools or altar items. After cleansing your tree guardian, you can change, charge its energy with crystals and tokens. As you get to know this companion, you can start asking questions during meditation. Along with divination tools such as tarot, runes, scrying, etc., this tree spirit will amplify your ability to connect with the wisdom held within the messages provided to you. We have placed a hanging plaque on the back of each tree guardian so that you may place it above an altar or within your garden to protect the nature surrounding you. We enjoy placing crystals on the flat top to charge oh, and cleanse the energy within our space. We have placed a Paua shell, I don't know if I'm saying that right, on the forehead of this tree spirit to offer good luck, prosperity, and peace. In the Maori practice, M-A-O-R-I, I need to do some research after this, um, these shells were gifted to one another, strengthening the bond of companionship. Each guardian that has been carved is slightly different in shape, color, and vibration. We have meditated with these spirits and have placed the one that is meant for you inside of this box. We have a special bond with nature and truly hope that this energy brings magic and guidance into your life. The first thing I thought of when I saw that this hangs and saw the flat spot on top is that definitely that is going to have uh, hold things. I was considering possibly, depending on, I don't know if it'll hold it, it's, it's about that size, like there's my hand, um, possibly even keeping my guardian tarot with this spirit. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. It might be too big. Cedar sage bundle. Okay, so let's move on. Put my spirit down. Okay, so this is a cedar sage bundle. The cedar tree has been revered as a sacred symbol for thousands of years and was thought to have go to house gods, bearing the entrance to the highest of spiritual realms. The wood of the cedar tree was used to create the entrance doors of sacred temples. Cedar is burned in many cleansing ceremonies for purification and renewal. As you burn this beautifully rich aromatic cedar, allow the smoke to bring forth good intentions, spirits, and guides. We have invited the smoke of cedar sage into core rituals where we wish to connect with nature's spirits. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Spirit of the Trees Sigil. We have created this sacred sigil with the intention of bringing grounding energy into your daily life. As you meditate with this energy, allow its intention to resonate with your subconscious. Place the symbol within your book of shadows, upon your altar, or beneath your sacred items to charge them with stability and strength. I need to create like a little file of these sigils. Ugh. Okay. The Hand Rolled Spiritus Spell Candle. We have hand rolled and charged this candle with the purpose of strengthening the bond between self and nature's spirit. As you sit with this flame, focus on the limitless blessings that the earth has provided to you. Allow the natural ingredients within this candle to direct you to receiving necessary messages during your meditations and rituals. As you connect with the grounded energy from this candle, bring your senses to the here and now, recognizing the intimate beauty that connects you to all things around you. It goes on from there, but this is stunning. Our tree guardian magical oil. I'm going to be anointing my guardian with this oil, like, for reals. <laughs> tree guardians have been a symbol of protection and strength since before we started walking our individual paths. Silent and watching, the tree guardians stand as a vital component in our world. Only with the beauty of these living beings are we able to live ourselves. We have created this very special magical oil with the intention of bringing you grounding and protective energies. We resonate deeply with the sacred vibrations of these tree guardians and have worked with this oil to bring about these energies. We've enchanted this magical oil with sandalwood, cedarwood, pine, and juniper berry oils and have included white oak bark, birch bark, willow bark, and cedar as well. Inside your oil you will find a Lumerian quartz said to personify oneness within your aura. We've also included a special mixture of our spirit guide magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. Uh, it does talk about this, the base of this is sunflower oil, which can be, uh, some people might be sensitive to. Uh, they, they've used that base in the other oils that I have, at least one of them, and I haven't had any issues yet. So this is going on my body too, I'm quite sure. And the juniper, I think, is what I wanted to guess earlier. Oh, it smells so fresh. 
I just so fresh and lovely. I can't. Oh, so good. <clears throat> okay. Next. Oh, lapis. I don't know if I actually have a lapis stone. So this is a rough lapis. We have handpicked the rough lapis stone that was placed inside of your box. Lapis has been a stone of royalty, which makes sense. Look at that vivid color. And spirituality, dating back to the ancient Egyptians, used to entomb and decorate the pharaohs. Lapis contains the power and vibrations to open the path of self-knowledge in order to uncover the truest truths. As you sit with this beautiful stone, allow its energy to activate the psychic centers of the third eye, enhancing your intuition and providing you guidance while communicating with nature's spirits. Lapis will assist you in becoming a student, learning the deepest lessons from the wise. This stone will open your spirit to receive and better understand the knowledge that is given to you through spiritual messages. <sighs> I'm so content every time I touch this stone. It's very calming. And the incense, forest mist. That totally makes sense. It's definitely like sweeter and lighter and fresher. I'm so excited to burn that. Uh, this specific incense is welcomed during this beautiful time of year as the notes of pine and cinnamon, I knew I picked up something sweet, um, waft through your sacred space, allow the energies on grounding and strength to reach the crevices of each corner. Used to enhance personal power and inflame passion, the forest mist incense is a great addition to your meditation ritual or sacred work. As you light this incense, cast a gesture of thankfulness and celebration. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, oh, Bia. Be it. That one I couldn't say, that herb. Okay, B-E-I-T-H-E. B-E-I-T-H-E. It totally looks like that. I just hadn't heard of that before, so it wasn't, it wasn't clicking. Beeth, or birch bark, has been used in magic for purification, inception, and fertility spells. Birch bark is, birch bark is also traditionally used for the besom, beltane fire, and yule log, bringing with it a very strong power and sacredness. The spirit of the birch brings courage and protection, to, the, to those that journey into the unknown and uncommon, known to be the guardian, the birch offers the bearer safety from madness and tricks of the fairy realm. When burned or placed on an altar during ritual, birch brings with it a potent, authentic in energy to your magic and spellcraft. Um, and then there's some correspondences as well. The slippery elm bark, commonly known for halting words spoken badly about others. Slippery elm. I, can't, I like totally can't words at all. Slippery elm bark is a must in the witch's cabinet. Slippery elm bark, when used in incense or magical powders, has the ability to allow us to be unseen and invisible to the prying eyes of predators. A common incantation associated with these spells goes... Oh, I'm not going to read that part. I just feel funny about reading incantations on camera. It just seems not quite right. Finally, a white oak bark. A powerful protection against... Again... Oh, sorry. A powerful protection agent... Ooh, those eyes, though. White oak bark is the companion needed for grand endeavors, removing negative energy and bringing the strength of willpower to any situation you may face. Said to teach tolerance and graciousness, the white oak can be a wise mentor. Place it in your protective sachet to bring you extra strength you may need along your journey. I have an idea for this, so I'm going to set this aside. Um, and let's see. Our personalized oracle reading, that is my white stag. Our parchment paper, they always send extra parchment, which... Oh, <laughs> is here at the back always. And our Tree Guardian Book of Shadows artwork. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I, I literally just checked out on you guys because I'm literally blown away. And I, I know I say that every time. I'm gonna just pile some things back in the box so I can show you all together. The value in this box is insane. Like, if we look at it just for what it is, we have a beautiful, like, carved altarpiece or decoration for your sacred space, wall decor, a beefy crystal, um, a, oh, I'm going to put that somewhere where it's going to be really visible, there we go, a full jar of bath salt, which still smells, oh, did I read about the bath salt? Is it in here? I want to see what it's, what's in it, it's probably going to say the same thing. Sage bundle, candle, sigil, magical oil. Oh, Yule sacred salt. Yule sacred salt. <gasps> Perfect. Yule is an indigenous midwinter festival observed by historical Germanic peoples during the winter solstice. The celebration of the longest night of the year signifies renewed hope as the days begin to lengthen. Uh, it goes on to talk about Yule and uh, talks about, let's see what it has in it. Here we go. Pine and cedarwood oils as well as holly and bay leaf. 
as well as a special mixture of our Yule Magical Oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Hmm. As an aside, if you notice that we get a bath salt in every single box and you're like, I don't have a bathtub, they always have a little note here that if you do not have access to a bathtub, steep the bath salt in a bowl of warm water and wash over skin to benefit from the energies within. They're so thoughtful about how they put this all together. I just, oh yeah, I was loading up the box. I have to say, like, I get so stupid happy every time this box comes in because I feel like there is so much fantastic stuff in it. Like, just from a value perspective, so this month, again, Beautiful carved altarpiece, full size, gorgeous hand rolled beeswax candle, three different herbs to work with. Oh, I set one aside so I can do a working. Okay. Three different beautiful herbs to work with. Uh, a sage bundle, so I guess that makes it almost like four herbs to work with. An oracle card, a sigil. Like, I, how do you even quantify like how amazing this whole thing is? The sage bundle. This, the herbs. So three different herbs, a crystal, an oil, bath salt. Like the value is far and above, above, far and above, above what I pay for this box. Like 100%, no question. I mean, I'm just going to hold this up because I like to do this at the end so you can kind of see everything kind of all together. But look at all the amazingness in here. I, I, I love this box so much. Uh, I I just, I can't wait to play with all of the goodies. And I have been, I have to tell you, just as a mini update, I have been getting so much use out of everything that I have been getting. I've been using my oils, I've been using my salts, I have been burning my candles, using my herbs, like my herb collection is getting really meaningful and um, substantial is the word I was looking for there. Uh, I've just had so much fun playing with everything. I've used up all the incense, incense sticks from my previous two boxes. So the amount we get in here, I think it's like six or eight. I think it's about six. One, two, three. I can't with my eyeballs. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got nine incense sticks here. So that's more than one like a week. So it's like two a week. I can't math apparently. Two to three a week. <sighs> I can't stop smelling this one. It's so fresh and different. I just love it. Um, so this all gets used. Like I got a sage bundle. That's going to get used. Because I have this coming every month, I don't feel the need to go stock up on a bunch of witchy supplies because I know I'm going to get fun new things to play with every single month. And I sound like a commercial and I swear I pay for my box myself. Like I just am legit excited about the quality. And I feel really good about recommending this box, even to Canada, because even with exchange and shipping, I feel like I definitely get my money's worth. So thank you again for joining me for this video. I have a blast unboxing this with you guys. I am over the moon that I get this box every month. Super grateful that I am able to do this and share it with you all. I hope you all have a really magical rest of your week and I will talk to you all again very soon.